Hello, welcome to Mike's Mr. October and more. So today, I got to tell you a little bit about Walter Payton, and today's episode is going to be based on the 1972 Sunoco Player Stamp book. But anyways, Walter Payton uh, went to Jackson State, which is in Jackson, Mississippi. And he finished with 16,726 yards, averaging 4.4 uh, yards per carry. He had 110 touchdowns, was a one-time Super Bowl champ, nine-time Pro Bowler, five-time All-Pro, 1977 MVP, and he was inducted into the Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio in 1993. And unfortunately, he died at a very young age of 45 in 1999. So anyways, um, I'm going to be doing the Sunoco 1972 uh, player stamp book. And it came in two versions, a deluxe uh, booklet. And then uh, just a regular stamp book. So uh, what happened is that there were nine stamps per booklet. And at that time, what happened is my father would go to Sunoco and he would come home with stacks of the stamp uh, booklets. And at that time, we had um, lived with my grandparents and I would sit on my grandfather's um, desk and um, take some glue and affix it uh, to each little square where the player was represented. Um, so one side is going to be the offense, and on the right side is the defense. And I was able to get every player in the stamp book. So I got to switch it around and got to show you a little bit of the player stamp book. Here I'm showing the stamp booklets themselves. There were nine stamps per booklet. And as you could tell, there's four different teams. The New York Jets, Miami Dolphins, Dallas Cowboys, and the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, I'm not sure that the players pictured on the booklets themselves are players that were actually on these four different teams. And uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the football player stamp book itself and this is the one I had when I was a small boy and when you open the page it has John Mackey as you can see was the president of the NFL Players Association and then the presidents for the American Football Conference and the National Football Conference and then it gives a brief synopsis believe it or not of the <laughs> Super Bowl six Dallas Cowboys 24, Miami Dolphins 3. And I think at that time, the Dolphins were the only team not to score a touchdown in the Super Bowl. I think that was equaled fairly recently. And as stated before, the one side was offense, the left side, and the right side is the defense. And here are some of the players for the Atlanta Falcons. Probably players that you never heard of or I've heard of that are long forgotten. And here's the Colts. And then the Buffalo Bills. And let's see if there's an O.J. Simpson here. Yep, there he is. O.J. Simpson. And then there's your defense. The Bears. Let's see if there's a Dick Buckus here. Yep, there he is. Dick Buckus. Boy, he was a mean dude, wasn't he? 
And then we got the Bengals. The Browns. And I would sit there at my grandfather's desk and glue away. So here's your Cowboys. Some of these players, I gotta be honest with you, I don't even remember. Leroy Jordan, there you go. Bob Lilly. Bob Hayes. I think he was in Olympics. I think he's the only uh, athlete or in the NFL to win a medal and also be in the Hall of Fame and win a Super Bowl. If I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. And there's Roger Staubach, who went to the U.S. Naval Academy. Denver Broncos. Detroit Lions. There you go. Detroit Lions. Packers. Oilers. Oh, there he is. Charlie Joyner. Dan Pastorini. Charlie Johnson. Some great ball players. Ken Houston. Chiefs. Let's see. Uh, uh. One, Stenerud, great kicker. Oh, there he is, Len Dawson. Had some great ball players on the uh, Chiefs, to say the least. Rams. Roman Gabriel, I think it was a quarterback. Yep, there he is, Roman Gabriel. And then on the defense... Jack Hitlock, Youngblood, ah, Merlin Olson. Also was on uh, Little House on the Prairie. I think it was Mr. Edwards. And here we go with the Miami Dolphins. My team back then, the no-name defense. Great ball players. Look at that. Larry Little. I think he's in the Hall of Fame. Bob Greasy. Jim Kick. We went to Montville High School, if I'm not mistaken, which is the next town over where I lived in Killon, New Jersey. Barrow your premium. Dick Anderson, Jake Scott, Nick Bonacotti. Manny Fernandez. Here's your Vikings, Gene Washington. Another great team for Super Bowl appearances and unfortunately lost every time. Uh, Fran Tarkenden, he was the original number 10 for the New York Giants. Later worn by Eli Manning, as everybody knows. Carl Heller, Alan Page, one mean dude. Jim Marshall, another great player, another mean dude. Jim Plunkett of the Patriots. Jim Nance. Charlie Gogolak. Steve Kiner, no relation to Ralph. At least that I know of. Julius Adams, another great ball player. 
Now we got um, New Orleans Saints, and if I'm not mistaken, quarterback at that time was none other than Archie Manning, Peyton Manning, and Eli Manning's father. He was a great quarterback. Giants, and one of my first autographs to Mike, best wishes, Don Herman. When my father was in the Army, he was an advisor to National Guard Unit in West Orange, New Jersey. And as you know, most ball players in the offseason, before they had free agency, had a, a second job. So um, my father knew Don Herman. And I have also an autographed football card of his, too. I still have to this day. My first autograph ever. New York Jets. Rich Caster. Is a great wide receiver. Joe Willie Namath. Him and his fur coats. And with... Uh, Rock Al Welch in a movie. Emerson Boozer, John Riggins, later MVP for the Washington Redskins who beat the Miami Dolphins. Boo hoo hoo. Raiders. There you go. Art Shell, Gene Upshaw, Jim Otto. Spell his name backwards for me, please. Fred Blavikov, Ray Chester, Daryl Monica, George Blanda, Willie Brown, Jack Tatum, one mean dude. I gotta slaughter Phil's last name, so I won't even attempt to say it. Ben Davidson, another mean dude. And you got the Eagles. It's a lot of glue I put together. Ah, here we go. Pittsburgh Steelers. I know uh, John Mangini. That's his team. There you go, Terry Bradshaw. Preston Pearson. Mel Blunt. Mike Wagner. Andy Russell. Jack Ham. Was a mean dude, Elsie Greenwood. Mean Joe Green. Look at that the look he's giving the stare. Yeah. Dwight White. And there's your Cardinals. Jim Hart. I think he was around forever. Wasn't perfect in my cutting, as you can see. Larry Wilson, Chargers, you know. I think uh, there's Mike Garrett, John Hadle, another great quarterback. Oh, look at that. Deacon Jones. Oh, look at that look. Uh. It's like, don't mess with me. I'm hungry right now. Forty Niners had some uh, good ball players. Also, Gene Washington, great wide receiver, and there we go, John Brody. Great quarterback.
Redskins. Charlie Taylor. Larry Brown, great running back. Billy Kilmer. Then Joe Theismann came along. Replaced him, if I'm not mistaken. Chris Hainberger. I always just say Chris Hamburger. Jack Pardee. Oh, there he is. Didn't realize he played for the uh, Washington Redskins. And then here's a bracket for the playoffs. And uh, it's my own handwriting. And with the scores. And then here's the 1972 league schedule. And here's the back of the book. Looks like uh, Terry Bradshaw. I don't know who the other players are. But I just thought I'd show you the 1972 player stamp book. Thank you very much for your time. See you and talk to you later. Have a good day.